Hi there. Today we're making soup loaded with good for you ingredients as well as hearty flavor. This fish soup with potato and greens is certainly a delicious example of many good things heart healthy cooking has to offer. So to start, we're going to make a simple vegetable stock. Actually, this is a great recipe to know as you can use this stock for the base of so many different kinds of soups and stews. Now, when I have extra produce that might be a little bit older in my refrigerator, I like to make a stock and freeze it for nights when I want to cook up a nourishing meal, but I don't have a lot of time. But today we do have some time to make stock. So in this pot, I have two quarts or eight cups of water, and I'm adding one medium onion that I've chopped into half inch pieces. I'm also going to put one celery stalk chopped into half inch pieces and one medium carrot chopped into, you guessed it, half inch pieces. Now I'm going to bring this to a boil and uh, once that comes to a boil, I'll cover it and then lower the heat to medium and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So my vegetable stock has been simmering for over 20 minutes and I've removed the vegetables with a slotted spoon and put them in this bowl because I'm going to put them back into my soup towards the end of the cooking process. Now with the pot still over medium heat, I'm going to add in some more veggies. Now here I have a half a pound of butternut squash that I peeled and seeded and cut into one inch cubes. Woo! Made a splash. Didn't want to do that. Here we go, just like that. There we go. And you could use any kind of winter squash here. I also like acorn squash in the soup, but any one is fine. Next, I have one pound of washed, unpeeled potatoes that I have cut into two inch cubes. I'm gonna gently put those in so the water doesn't splash back at me this time. There we go. Just a few more. Perfect. All right. And then I have an additional onion, celery, and carrots cut into half inch pieces, just like I used before. Two minced garlic cloves. and a half teaspoon of hot sauce. Now, the hot sauce is optional, or you could use less to reduce the spiciness. So now I'm gonna give that a stir, just like that, and cook it until the squash and the carrots are fork tender, which takes about 15 minutes. So the vegetables in our soup have been cooking away, and the squash and the carrots are just about done, and so now it's time to add our fish. So the American Heart Association recommends eating at least two three and a half ounce servings of fish every week, especially oily fish, which contain omega-3 fats, which are the healthier fats. Now types of oily fish include salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, lake trout, and herring. Today I'm gonna to be using salmon, and I usually buy it frozen, which is less expensive, but just as nutritious. Now this is a pound of salmon that I already thawed and cut into one inch pieces. So I'm just gonna put these right into the pot. And uh, these will cook up in no time, really. Just about three minutes because it's gonna be really quick. Now you'll be able to tell when it's done when it turns from a bright coral pink to a lighter opaque color. See, they're already starting to cook right there. Now, you really can use any type of fish for this recipe, whatever you may have in your freezer or whatever is on sale at the store. So the salmon is done, look at that. And the internal temperature should be at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can really see that opaque color right there. Now, I'm going to add back in our previously cooked onion, celery, and carrot pieces, along with our greens. Now I'm using four cups of fresh kale that I have washed up and chopped just like that. But you could use really any different kind of green for this soup. You can use collard greens or Swiss chard, spinach, 
mustard greens. You know, you could even use frozen greens. Shredded cabbage is also an option. You just need to add it in with the squash and the carrots so it has more time to cook. Now with the kale, I'm just gonna simmer it for a few minutes until it turns bright green. So our soup is done, and now it's time to serve it up. Now this recipe serves four, and each serving is about two cups of soup. So I'm just gonna pour some soup into my bowl here. Oh, that smells so delicious. Oh, look at that. Get some butternut squash in there. And right here I have some fresh chopped cilantro to sprinkle on top. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. Oh, that looks delicious. And I like to serve the soup with two warm six inch corn tortillas for each bowl. Now I microwave them up in the microwave right before serving and just warm them up. Now I hope that you get to warm up with a bowl of this fresh fish soup with potato and greens. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.